so hey guys welcome back uh, today we're going to do a project with the help of python and opencv the project will be to add a watermark upon photo without doing any kind of a photoshop we'll just do with the help of coding so let's get started so how are we going to do it we'll just open python ideally create a new file okay just save it as logo i'm going to save it in my folder okay you can save it anywhere you want because i have all the things out here only so okay so let's get started with the code you just need to have basic two libraries installed that is import cv2 then import numpy as mp then with this basic two libraries we are going to import more two libraries one is log library and the other will be os library so the glob the glob library and the os library what does that do i'll just tell you in the further time importing the four libraries we just need to import our image so how do we do that we just write cv2.im read bracket in with inverted commas and in this bracket with double inverted commas you need to give the image name my image name is logo.png and after doing so we just need to notice that where are we going to store our image so i'll store it in logo variable so we are done okay we have just imported or just taken the input of our image so after this what we are going to do we are going to calculate the length breadth and width of our image so how do we do that h underscore logo comma w underscore logo comma underscore equal to logo dot With the help of this statement, we are going to get our height and width of our image. So let's print it. Print h underscore logo comma w underscore logo. Let's see what the output comes. Let's run the code. Save it first. We are good to go. Uh, we have the output as. 464 and 1223 so what does this mean this means that the height of our image is 464 and the width of our image is 1232 that is 1232 pixels so that's good let's go next so next what do we do we just import the path of image that we have to put on image underscore path dot here what do we give out here we are just going to give the path of the image which image in the image in which we have to give the watermark so let's give the path our path will be let's take an okay let's take pictures uh, i'll take this let's take the path of this we have copied the path let's paste it out here just remember one thing whenever we do whenever we copy and paste some file locations always use forward slash instead of back backslash so after this what do we do we just, we just add a for loop for for img underscore path in images underscore path colon number one thing img underscore path and images underscore path these are all variables and you can change them according to yourself so what do we do we read the image this cv2 dot i am read equals 
where we have the images we have the images in img underscore path it will be img underscore path okay sorry i have written both we need to store it in a variable so I name it a img equals to this now like we have done previously we have read a logo then what did uh, what did we do we calculated the length breadth and height so we'll do the same here let's do it here h underscore h comma w underscore img dot shape then let's print it and let's see what we get print uh, h underscore img comma w underscore img and let's see what do we get out here and save it we're good to go and we have got some outputs and these outputs are perfect okay now now what do we do we find the center of each image and it is center underscore x equal to divided by 2 center underscore y equal to int h underscore ing divided by 2 so you might have a question like why did you why do we, did we do it like this integer a pixel cannot have a 0.5 value see it is either one or nothing so we have divided it so we have converted into a integer like if we divide 6 by 2 we'll get 3 and if the and pixel size cannot be uh, odd number so with this integer we always get an even value so remember that whenever we divide it by 2 let it be 7 divided by 2 we'll always get 4 okay remember that so now what do we do we calculate the position where we need to fix our logo Let's take it as top underscore y equal to center underscore y in plus in brackets for bracket we need to give integer h underscore logo Same goes for the bottom part so we have left underscore x equal to center underscore x plus int w underscore logo divided by 2 then what do we do see this part this top y and left x will determine the position of the left part of your logo so we need to determine the position of our right part also so we do the same thing here it will be as bottom underscore y equals to Find out the bottom part we'll do it as bottom underscore y equals to center underscore y plus top underscore y why did we do so this uh, this part of the statement clarifies us the position of the left part so the right part will be according to, according to it so we do it here like this then will be right plus 
underscore y. Sorry, x. Oh, sorry, there is a mistake. Uh, it will not be center plus y. It will be h underscore logo. That will be w underscore score logo. part from the for loop this determines the position of the logo so we can print out here it will be print sorry let a comment deciding the where to paste the logo we need to calculate the ROI what is ROI? ROI stands for rectangular region of interest. Uh, with the ROI function, we can extract the position where we want to paste the logo. So let's write the command for ROI. So ROI, we'll write it as ROI equals to ING square brackets because this is an array from top Y till bottom y comma it will be left x left underscore x y underscore x okay so after calculating the roi that is rectangular region of interest now we will add the logo to the ROI so we write it as result equals to cv2 dot add weighted add weighted add weighted is a predefined function of cv2 in which we need to pass the value of ROI comma 1 comma the image name comma at what intensity you want to give the logo to comma zero this line adds the logo to the ROI portion and this 0 0.3 will decide the intensity it can be 0 0.3 it can be 0 0.5 and max to max one one will be its original density so now after we have completed adding the logo to the ROI we need to replace the ROI to that image so how do we do uh, we write it as just copy this portion okay here and place this with result so now to store the watermarked images we need to just write this part like get file and save the image and in a variable called file name we write os.path dot base name brackets image underscore path and then with the cv2 dot im write function we just give the location where we want to save plus file name comma img and coming out from the loop write a print statement which will give us a reminder that our images are watermarked yeah and it's done so let's run the code let's see okay and we have successfully watermarked all our images so let's check the folder where we have saved okay let's go down and yeah we have just saved all the images let's check yeah it's done see you can see out here it's done i hope this project was interesting and helpful thank you for watching our video like and share and comment your thoughts over this topic and let me know thank you for watching